Patino, what have we had happen? Oh, you know, we cleaned the carpet today. Really, yeah. pr really productive. And then I stuck a knife all the way through my thumb. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah I mean, oh. uh, yeah, but we're, I, gonna, we're gonna get the rest of these knives sharpened up. I almost, I almost forgot about that. You almost forgot about that? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I'm quite, I'm quite cognizant. Hey, why the is there two holes? Uh, because it went all the way through. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little tender. Yeah. It's a little tender. That's still tender. A little, just a little. Uh, but uh, we're gonna bandage it up and then I'm gonna put my stab proof gloves on to finish up this uh, filet knife. Uh, it's it's really pokey, I can tell you that. And uh, it will go right through the meaty part of your hand for you. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Are you gonna keep filming? <laughs> you filming again. Well, if it would stop bleeding, it would make it a lot easier to bandage. Well, it was sterile. <laughs> Until, I threw <laughs> Until you threw it on the bed. table, yeah. That's fine. It's fine. I've had my tetanus shots. I think I put that tape there. It is. You should put a second piece of gauze think on. So? Yes. I don't want it to be too bulky. I still got to sharpen. Is that some of the tighter web stuff, or is it that loose stuff? Like this? Yeah. The key is to be applying pressure here. So you That's should, what I'm trying. You to. should wrap it. You want to wrap it once in one of my compression things? Mm, it's a little spongy. Just, gonna... just keep. Would you like a glove? I could give you a latex glove. Well, I have I have gloves that we're gonna use. But the latex might hold it on better. I don't know. Well, I'm just trying to get a base of tape to hold it in place, so that then you can just keep going over it. Mm -hmm. It's it's like uh, it's like wrapping your hands for boxing. Yeah, we hear you. Yes, hello. No. Hello, churro. No, like apparently right yes. now. Yes. At churro like chill on attention? Instagram. Do you, you feel like you need attention? Hi, sweetie. Yeah, I'm. I'm having. A... We may we may not get to finish her. I don't know yet. Maybe we should put the staff group club on though before we start. What do you think? Not a bad idea. And you know what just happened is what I've always imagined happening? Uh, yeah, and you're like, no, 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 and I've watched it a thousand times and I've videoed it a thousand times and every time it makes me cringe and this time I wasn't watching it and I'm glad because it would have been a thing of my nightmares. Um, I don't know if this is going to actually work. These gloves are so stiff. And this is why I want these gloves. I'm just going to be real careful not to do it again. But now at least I have some padding. In case it does, I might have a little bit of a... Well, and you already have a hole, so maybe it'll just go right in the same right, hole. there you go. Like, it's like hole in one. It was that. It was, it was going back and everything slipped and it just slipped right off the stove. That, like that, right there. Yeah, see, this is the part that I always hate watching, and, and that's exactly when it happened. Yeah, it's exactly what happened. But, life goes on. Life goes on. Things like this happen. Accidents occur. It's not the first time I've ever hurt myself doing something. Probably won't be the last. You could probably stop. I mean, I'm, I'm good now. I just... Well, yeah, I just wanted to get the process. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I just want everybody to see you to go right back to fucking sharpening. 
it's not like it's not the first time I've cut myself rather badly while uh, while sharpening an iron. No, it was just like you know, <laughs> we had the conversation not more than an hour ago of like, yeah, you know been you know taking it easy while the wife's gone because i have nobody to drive me to the hospital that and then true. i show up and i'm like no man just like let me know if you need this, to go you just call me and then i sit down on the couch and, I, I, and I, you're I, like oh that's bad i'm like okay well we're going i talked about this on a live feed uh with eric oaks uh that i hadn't hadn't had a beer since the wife left because there was no one around in case something happened for me to be able to like call someone or have somebody take me to the emergency room um, this, as bad as it looks, I don't think I even need to go anywhere. I'm not seeing any large swelling. I'm not seeing any bruising around the area. If it gets worse, I'm going to emergency room later. But it does, to tell you the honest truth, doesn't even hurt. You still have full range of motion. I still have full range of motion. It really doesn't hurt. There's no air getting to it because we closed it off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to your dad's knife. But I'll at least get Ben's knife done for this uh, gift. And then, I mean, this is dirty, so I'll change out mine. I, I, I should just edit this up, edit this and put it up today. Absolutely. As extra content. Sunday funnies. So what I think happened is either the stone slipped and then I went straight into my hand or I went under the stone back here because that's, that's where it was. I was up here trying to get that done. It, it, I know better than to try and rush. This is why I say, take your time, don't fuck around. Even in like as much as I know where the knife is all the time. Uh, and to tell you the truth, honestly, I was watching Dan Hurt's fault. I was gonna say, it's Dan Hurt's fault. It's Dan Hurt's fault. Because I looked up and then stuck it into my hand and I'm like, yeah, that sucks. He was getting a good signal on that though. Gold monster. Yeah, that, that caught my attention. I looked up. And I said, Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan Hurd. Dan Hurd Prospecting. Go give him a follow. Yeah, I love that channel. <laughs> Make sure you don't. Uh... No tape pop. Oh, that wasn't. That wasn't like ow, that hurt. That was like ah, fucking tape pop loose. How much blood's on that shirt now? Well, I mean, there was already blood on it. <laughs> This is like one of my favorite shirts. I actually don't. Yeah. I mean, it's I, on the other side right there. Oh, there it is. I mean, but still, like for a through and through? Not bad. Not bad. Not that bad. I'm not fussy. Matt can attest. Matt see me do some shit. <laughs> Matt see me do some shit. And most people are like, dude, <laughs> I wouldn't that fucking. I'm not fussy. I don't like this. I don't like to try and play up that I'm a tough guy or anything, but it definitely you know. Shake. Good job. She knows something's wrong, don't you, bud? You know something has occurred? Let's see where we're at on this. I think we may be better. Keep your straps and bags. It keeps you from getting contamination, grit contamination on your uh, leather. I think I've said that in videos before. As I say that, and then pull my strapping compound out of a cup that's just open to the air. But, um... Oh, hi. Give me a second. I'll play with you in a second. Do you always think that this is your nightmare? My nightmare is because I usually don't have shoes on. I'm usually wearing sandals. I'm always afraid, like, that... I've done that before. Just never through and through. That's not my first through and through, but... I'm honored. I'm always afraid that I'm going to drop... Actually, every fillet knife you've made, I've cut myself with in some fashion. This is the only one I've made that's a fillet knife. No, you made another knife that was fairly thin for, like, your brother or your dad. Oh, yeah, that was a boning knife. That's what it was. It was fairly thin. I cut myself pretty good with that one, too. Well, I guess they do what they're supposed to do. I mean, it... It definitely had some bendiness to it. it. It made it right through my hand, nice and clean. Mm. 
You guys want to back up a little bit? Huh? You too? Could the, could the dogs go play somewhere where there's not a sharp object in play? Huh? Yes, it is. It's certainly pointy. Bye, guys. <laughs>